The rebels openly started inciting the people with Dalai's tacit consent. An organization which called itself the People's Congress even posted notices in Lhasa. Many Tibetan upper and middle class liberals avoided organizations controlled by the PLA. Most Lhasa residents shut their doors to avoid danger. Lhasa seemed deserted. The fuse for the actual rebellion was the Dalai Lama's request to see a musical performance. In February 1959, Dalai Lama asked to go to the Tibetan Military Club to watch a new program of the military art performance troupe. The military leaders welcomed him and asked him to confirm the performance time and location. On March 8th, the Dalai Lama confirmed that he would go on March 10th. But on the evening of March 9th, the Lhasa mayor told the citizens that the Han Chinese were preparing to kidnap the Dalai Lama as he watched the performance and take him to Beijing. He asked that every household send a person to Noberlinka, where Dalai Lama was staying, to protect him and prevent him from going to the performance. In the morning of March 10th, several thousand armed rebels surrounded Lhasa and injured or killed some Tibetan liberals. The rebel head openly announced Tibetan independence and started an armed rebellion. On March 10, 1959, the situation was tense. From March 10th to 16th, 1959, the Dalai Lama wrote three letters to the leaders of the Tibet Working Committee and Tibetan Military Region. He said he was surrounded by the rebels and couldn't act on his own. However, on March 16th, he looked for divine intervention on whether to escape. God reportedly said to him, "Leave immediately tonight." So at midnight, March 17th, disguised as an armed rebel along with some other rebel leaders, the Dalai Lama escaped Lhasa through this gate from this ferry called Nama Hill for the armed rebels' base camp, the Loka region. After the Dalai Lama escaped, the rebels summoned about 7,000 people and started overall attacks on the party, government, and military organizations in Lhasa at dawn on March 20th. The PLA counterattacked, with the support of patriotic Tibetan monks and believers. They put down the rebellion in Lhasa in two days. The Dalai Lama and his followers escaped India. In September 1951, Ambassador Henderson wrote the only signed letter. Mr. Henderson's wishes were realized.
After the 1959 rebellion was put down, millions of serfs and slaves were no longer personal property of the feudal masters headed by Dalai. They were no longer forced to work. From then on, they gained their personal freedom. It is the Tibetan New Year in Jiayu Town in Lunsa County, which once stood the ranch of the Dalai Lama's clan. The former serfs and their descendants wish each other happiness, with shamar and wine symbolizing a good harvest. The Dalai Lama and his clan, whom they once worshipped, gave them only endless suffering. The people's government has led them to democracy, freedom, and happiness.